Hey, welcome back to another episode of Pirate Lance. I'm thinking this is probably going to be the last episode of Pirate Lance with this particular lance. These guys are going to be moving up into the main group, and I think probably what we're going to end up doing is coming up with another lance after this mission. Uh, we won't do it here. We'll we'll create a whole new um, Pirate Lance after this mission. I'll create a whole new episode for that just so we can hire some people. But right now, we're sitting on the planet of uh, Bakaliu here. What we're going to do is we're going to just do a quick mission today. Um, we're not going to be running under pirate colors today. We are going to be pulling a contract though. And what we're going to do is we're going to do some work for um, the uh, Lothian League here because we lost a little bit of um, reputation with them after we hit them on the last planet. So we're going to run a mission for them today. Now we're going to do hostile insertion. Really what we're looking for is salvage today. We do have a good amount of money so we're not really worried about that. Our um, financial report is coming up and we're still we're working on stuff in the engineering department but we're gonna take this mission today and hopefully we're just gonna go all salvage hopefully we can find some good stuff in here but we'll see how it goes and we're gonna go with our pirate lance now yeah this trebuchet is finished um, being fixed but uh, we need to work on that next time there's a bunch of components that we've lost so uh, we've got the butcher up to speed we've swapped out the LRM5 for an SRM4 double plus to uh, plus with I put some dead, dead fire ammo, ammo in there too to increase the close range punch on it uh, but for the most part everybody else is the same so let's deploy and see what we can get done here Command interface initiated. all right here we go four mechs on the ground so there's a hostile lands touchdown here somewhere here we go two skull mission we should probably be okay here uh, we're just going to reserve back so we can all move at the same time and Chances are we're going to have reinforcements to face. Look at that. Someone wants to get dead. Someone wants to get jiggy with us. Okay, so there's a vehicle. I think if I remember this map correctly, there's the main lance over here, and then I think our re reinforcements come from this area over here. Good to go. So we're going to take on the main lance first. Hopefully Double kill time. them fast before we encounter the reinforcements. So as I was saying, the next um, episode of Pirate Lance is going to be with light mechs. We're going to uh, gear up Lance 3, I think. Uh, it's all going to be light mechs. Um, I'm not going to go with any mediums at all. Uh, I know we do have a blackjack in storage right now, but we're not going to use that. We're going to go with probably the spider, um, the fire starter. We're going to get that back out yep. and running. Um, that was very, very handy Understood. earlier on. And we'll probably bring in, well, I said the spider, but it's actually the uh, venom. We might bring back the dagger. I'm not 100% sure, but we do have a couple of panthers as well. So it may end up being two panthers, the venom, and the fire starter. But we'll see how it goes. And I think I'm going to do yeah, something a little different with those guys. Um, normally I don't Moving use jump jets. I'm not really a big fan of jump jets. Um, I know they give you a lot of mobility, or they can but the extra heat generated and, and instability can be a problem for me. Um, that's why I like just using the ability to run and sprint. Uh, I know it may sound weird. I know it, 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 it is just what it is. I, I like what I, I like how playing my style. And I haven't really had any problem. There's only been a few times that I've wished I've had jump jets. But for the most part, I've had no problem. But where I think we're going to outfit a lot of them with jump jets um, and do a little bit more maneuvering, I think. But we're going to get them, I think, to punch above their weight, too. So we're going to get them involved in um, combats that are um, are going to take them into uh, missions that are going to be like stealing missions and recovery missions. So we can just you really, utilize, really utilize those jump jets in um, above weight missions to um, basically get what we need and get out. So let's reserve. All right, so we're ready for combat here. These guys are reserving. I'm going to go back to turn one. We may not have any reinforcements. I haven't seen yeah. anything yet, but let's get up in here. Let's find out what we're up against. So let's move up this way. You can see all three vehicles from here. Heads up, Commander. You've got hostile contacts inbound. Yeah, here comes the reinforcements. Okay, so let's try to eliminate these guys fast. What do we got? Marsden with a lot of armor. 
Okay, we've got a galleon with eh, respectable armor, but with that ER large laser. Um, okay, this guy's not bad either. Hunter tag, LRM 20 and flamer. So we're going to go against the Marsden, I think. Um, utilize those SRM4s with dead fire. Those, those, those things um, should do 18 damage Roger. apiece. And we didn't hit with any of them, so we can't really tell, but they should do 18 damage apiece. Alright, so let's bring... Um, who's next here? Jasper up front. I'm toying around with the idea of adding um, the dead fire ammo to Jasper, Jasper as well, the SRMs, but that really means he needs to be close to use them. Um, and I know he's pretty much the scout on this team, but um, I don't know if I want to get him too close. So how are we doing here armor-wise? They still got lots of armor. So we're really going to have to hit this guy hard. So let's get Animal up here. Um, is there any way we can hit this guy in the side? Not really. So let's move up here. I'm not going to kill the Marsden this turn. Doesn't look like. So I think maybe we'll target the Galleon. And get rid of that ER large as best we can. I'm going to turn off the medium laser for now. Copy that. So Goss Rifle pulled a nice big hit. LRM's in there. we got a PPC coming up here too. All right. So that's 15, it looks like. Could be a trebuchet. Could be. Ready for orders. It's a two-skull mission, so it shouldn't really be that bad. At least we got a chance to see what this mech is now, too. So what do we got over here? Ooh, Grand Dragon, Douglas. AC5, LRM5. Hmm. Maybe we want to try and get some uh, parts off that guy. Like mech pieces, that is. So this guy's got 11 left on his side. So maybe we multi-target here. We're going to go for the Marsden and for this guy, the PPC on the Marsden, and everything else on the Galleon. Firing on multiple enemies. Okay, a little bit of damage to that guy. And there's the kill. Excellent. One less vehicle to worry about. So this Marsden will probably back up. Yeah. We've got the Butcher that is going to be going next. Oh, he's going in there, is he? That's fine. That's respectable. Good thing he went against the Trebuchet, though. It's a little harder to hit than everybody else. Comes that Grand Dragon. Okay. Going for indirect fire. That's up to you, buddy. Alright, so. Payroll. Let's get you on this... How much armor does this guy have again? 136... Yeah, I don't think I can really kill him in one shot. If we get lucky, we could, but... Let's move down in here. Uh, we're going to go after the Marsden, I think. Because it's relatively close. What's the chance to hit here? Pretty good chances here, except for the SRM-4. Even better chances here. So we're just going to fire straight on this guy. There we go. Yeah, you can see 18, 18, 18. Yeah. So that SRM-4 double plus with the dead fire ammo is really deadly at close range. It's basically um, like having a couple of pulse lasers. But it's nice because there's one ton of dead fire, one ton of dead fire ammo, and two tons of um, SRM-4. So it's like it's pretty um, pretty frugal in in terms of weight and stuff. And heat, it's really neg negligible, so it's kind of a good loadout. Alright, so let's move down here. I want to get rid of this vehicle first, um, only because I want to really be able to focus on that dragon. I, and I don't want to have to worry about this guy shooting me in the back. We really want to get the parts off this dragon, so I'm going to try and leg him, I think. So we got at least three mechs coming up this way. So Animal, let's get you down here. Just like this. Doesn't have to move very far. And we're going to hold off on the Goss, I think. How are we doing with this vehicle? Eh, not so well. Um, I want to hang on to that Goss rifle for the mechs that are coming up. So let's just pepper him with LRMs. And then we'll get Jasper over there to hit him some more with SRMs. 
See, the issue with Jasper, if we do go with Deadfire Ammo on Jasper, so getting him in this close, even like right here, he wouldn't be able to hit with Deadfire Ammo. So it's not like um, the Deadfire Ammo is going to be that good on him. And he's mostly all close range weapons, right? So we got to make sure that he's got to be able to, he can hit, well, medium range weapons. He's got to be able to hit at medium ranges, right? So. So that guy's going to be going down next turn. We'll get payroll on that guy the next turn and we'll take him down. Alright, see what they do here. Dragon moving off behind there. Okay. So if we go after the dragon, this guy's up the hill. If we go after the dragon, that's going to put our backs to the enemy, but we, if we get this rock between us and him, yep. probably be fine. So let's do that. Let's just kind of go after him. Keep our sides turned over there. Going to target this guy. Fire with both. Just, just get rid of him. There we go. So we don't have to worry about the vehicles now. I don't want to get attacked from behind, so... It's kind of a good thing. Jasper's going next. He's got the fast, fastest movement. He can't actually see that guy. Um, so let's reserve. Maybe we reserve past the uh, Grand Dragon, see what he does. So there's Vindicator 6L. So I think, our, I think our chance to go after that Grand Dragon is gone now. And we don't know what this guy is yet. Okay, it's either a Katyushka or a Trebuchet. You keep shooting at the guys that you want to shoot at, buddy. Alright, so this Vindicator, what do we got here? It's got full armor, plasma lance, plasma cannon, two medium lasers. Do we target him now? Let's reserve, see what the dragon does. Let's see what he's doing. He's coming back out. So, okay, we, we are going to go after him then. I think Jasper can get in there. And we'll be moving all before him again anyway, so there's going to be order. seven attacks on him. So we should be able to, to take him down, I think, here. So let's go this route. Confirm. I know we want to take as much from this guy as we can. Doesn't have really a lot of armor in the legs. It's pretty good torso-wise. So let's just fire straight on him and see what we can get here. Soften him up a little bit. Okay, it looks like it was a couple of leg hits anyway. Mostly arm. Yeah, a couple of leg hits, not much. Alright, voodoo. Let's get over here. That guy's going to be able to see you, but we're going to be moving, so... It's not, yeah, I don't know. Go something like that. We'll get you moving first next time, so we don't have to worry about uh, that guy. Well, he'll probably shoot you in the back anyway, but... Let's go... Let's fire everything. Okay, good stability damage. We have a chance for a knockdown now. So, Animal. Commander. Can we get you? We, you can actually do see him. Good. I was actually worried Animal wasn't going to be able to get over there. Alright, so let's put this guy on the ground. Um, let's leave the Gauss Rifle off. We don't want to just murder this guy. So let's see if we can blow him over here. Yep, we knocked him down. So now we have four attacks on him while he's on the ground. So I'm going to try and pull his legs off. Okay, so we got payroll moving first, yeah. so let's move down here. Going to turn our side to the guy up on the Roger. cliff there, just like this. And we're going to go after this guy's leg. What's he got here in this leg? 84. So we need to have at least... Hmm, don't want to... I'm going to leave the SRMs off, I think. We're just going to go with the two lasers and hopefully we hit with both. Acknowledge. Nah. I don't even know where I hit with that first one. Definitely wasn't the leg. Well, hopefully it was the other leg, maybe. No, torso. 65 there. Okay, so we wanted to move Voodoo next, uh, since she's got her back right now to the enemy. So let's get her completely moved into her trees here. And we're going to shoot for the leg again. This leg with just the PPC. 
Okay, so what do we get there? Critical hit. Yeah, but where? But you can see what I mean about the jumping inst instability, right? Like, he's jumped twice now. And he's like, what, almost two boxes? Yeah, two boxes of instability. It's like, you know, now when we hit him, he'll be, one person hits him, he's unstable. Order. Right? And then he's just got, like, he's just open season, right? So we're going to do that, actually, if we can actually target both these guys. We can. Double time. Let's go. So let's make that guy open season. We're going to multi-target. We're going to fire here and here. We just want to breathe on B. We're going to fire the LRMs to A. Uh, we'll leave the Gauss rifle off for now. Affirm. Okay, so that's going to chase him away probably next turn. He's really hoping to take those legs, but uh, targeting is not the best. We're getting closer, though, to getting the uh, breaching shot on all our guys here. I think two of our guys have got breaching shot now. Uh huh. So, you know, when you say things like that, it's like you're just inviting disaster. Okay, so let's look at you now. We've got one point left in that leg and a full other leg. So we're going to go after the other leg, and hopefully we get a hit on the on the first one. Oh, Jasper, really? You never hit what I want you to hit. Ugh. Couple hits, not bad. So we're gonna come around from behind him with Jasper. Alright, first of all, payroll. Yep. Let's give that guy a bit of uh, warning that he shouldn't be jumping. Let's move. All right, we're going to open up on this guy up here on the hill. Firing the PPC at him. Firing. Good chance to hit. That looked like it was probably a CT hit. Yeah, you're moving now. I've had guys be unstable like that and jump, and then they fire, and then they get just get knocked over. He's still really unstable. All right, so Jasper, Morning. I'm going to bring you back here. Actually, you know what? Let's get behind the dragon. Just get behind him, turn off the small, and we're going to just fire everything. Maybe we get a leg hit. Come on, buddy. Yep, there it goes. Solid connection on that one. So we're going to run Animal next. I want to see if you can use that Gauss rifle on the guy's leg. We could go for head hits, though. He does have that LRM that he could use. So let's move Good Animal go. back. Uh, to whereabouts? We're sprinting, or we're gonna go right here. Let's move. All right, so we're gonna fire on this guy. We're gonna go for headshot. We're gonna leave off the medium laser. Let's throw the Gauss rifle on. We got a great chance to hit. And let's hope we blow his head right off. There goes the torso for a pilot injury. Oh, I was hoping for a head hit there. Some heavy damage. Yeah, he's like dropping a load in his pants right now. All right, Voodoo, we're gonna put on the uh, Vindicator up in the hill there. So as long as they're indirect firing, I'm cool with that. Yeah, that's probably a Kat Yushka or a Treb or something. I can't count the missiles, so... Doesn't seem like it's a Kat Yushka, it seems more like a Treb to me, but... We'll find out in a minute. We're just gonna back up. And we will... We're gonna multi-target. We're gonna fire on this guy, and we're gonna fire on this guy. And... B's are going to the far guy, and A is going to the dragon. And Let's hope we get a head hit here. Nope. But he is not having a good day, that's for sure. Oh, two misses. Really? That's all right. Payroll goes before him anyway. Let's see what this guy's doing. Just got to knock him down one more time. Yeah, good luck with that, buddy. So knocking him down shouldn't be a hard problem. All we have to do is breathe on him, like I said. So we're going to engage the guys that are coming in now. Uh, we're going to move into here. Because I want to get these SRM4s going. Oh, 6.5%, really? Really? Why would that be? 8.5%. The guy's unstable. Why am I having such a hard time hitting him? Confirmed. 
That's confusing. Why is it such a high chance to hit? He's unstable, but he's got four chevrons of evasion? Really? I'm taking the shot. I guess because he jumped, but shouldn't you, if you're unstable, still have... Really? Okay. Fine. Be that way. Okay, is he still standing? That should be a fall. He should fall for that. Oh well, I shouldn't really complain. Alright, uh, let's get um, Voodoo. How do I want to run this? Let's get you up here. No, shooting, just running. no, you're running and shooting. Everything on this guy. Let's leave the ER off. Actually, let's leave the PPC off to save the heat. We just want to hit the blow on this guy to knock him over. So that should do it. There we go. So that pushes him back behind all of us, so we should be able to easily kill this guy next turn. Well, hopefully. We're going to go for headshots on him. Dragon's unstable. We just need a knockdown. So I'm thinking we're probably just going to do a melee. What's this guy? Oh, yes. Yeah. So I think we've got a bunch of parts for this guy back in the shop. Ready for orders. So let's breathe on this dragon. Can I move up here? Now, how do I want to run this? How's this guy doing in the back here? 61. Full back CT. So I'm thinking we're going to multi-target here. Firing on the dragon and this guy. Um, B is going to go out. And we don't have the heat for that. So we'll leave the Goss. Well, we got enough ammo. I think we'll probably be okay. B is going to try and hit the uh, griffin. And A is going to breathe on the dragon there. Got it. So that should knock him over. Hopefully. No, he passed. Okay. Fair enough. Failed to connect. Okay, light peppering of missiles. Alright, Jasper. How might I help? Breathe on this dragon, buddy. That's what I want you to do. Just breathe on the dragon. So we're going to leave one of the SRM-6s off. And we're going to... Uh, what do I do? Pulses or... That's a tough question. We could kill this guy. Let's just go this route. He's still passed? Really? Okay, there's the knockdown. So that's a knockout. Excellent. So there's some good salvage from him. Now, we don't have a lot of Grand Dragon parts, but, I mean, that's okay. So, Payroll, we're going to get you... Can we see that guy? We can't. We're going to move you up here. Moving to position. So we do have a trebuchet 5N down here with a couple of LRMs. So we're going to fire on the Vindicator. We don't want him to get up. We don't really want the parts. So we're going to CT this guy. We're going to fire everything. Targeting for an alpha. How can you miss with the PPC? Really? You should have moved more than that, dude. Ooh. Good job with the heat, though. Okay. Voodoo, let's get you over here. Um, question. I don't think I want to turn my back to the griffin too much. Okay, I'm going to move here. Fire on this guy. Um, going for the CT. And I think maybe we go this way. Okay, that looks like it might have been two CT hits. Yep. Looks like it. Take that. We should be able to kill this guy, I think, this turn. Got Animal and Jasper still. I'm going to go Animal first, I think. Here comes those LRMs. Yep. Okay. Let's go Animal first. Just going to move over here. Got it. And we're going to use everything on this guy here. So this guy's got one point left in his CT, so we're going to multi-target. We're going to fire against him and him 
And what do we got chance to hit for B? Oh yeah, that's nice. So we're going to go this route and just fire. So that sh we just need one hit in the CT and he's done. Okay, so that's it for him. And then let's hope this Goss Rifle hits. I want a big hit on this Griffin. Yeah, nice. He's got lots of armor. He's in the trees though, so he's kind of safe. Yes, Commander. Let's get Jasper up here. Just going to move up a little bit, but we are going to unload everything on this guy. Target confirmed. Okay, nice little peppering on him. A little mess bit of instability up. loss. Mess him up good. Yeah, mess him up good. So his arm's down a little bit. Yeah, just kind of... Well, his CT's down a bit too. So, let's see, payroll here. What are we going to do? Let's move back. Just going to walk it. want to get rid of our instability. We're going to fire everything on this guy again. Okay, he's on steady. Ooh, head hit, nice. So he's probably going to move first. He's just deciding where he's going here. Oh, yeah. That's what I'd do. That's really all he can do. Ooh, shut him down. Watch those heat levels. Uh, I see it. Okay. There so let's go. try and save her a little bit. Let's do this. Going to step between her and the uh, trebuchet. And we're going to fire on this guy. Let's try and knock him down. Actually, let's do an offensive push. We want to move before him next turn. So we're going to try for a headshot here. And we're going to leave off the ER medium. And the PPC, we're just going to go with the LRMs. We want to have some good heat for next turn. Chance for a head hit's pretty low, but yeah, it's fine. Okay, firing on the mech I was hoping for. It's nice to have that meat shield. Okay, so we're going to turn and we are going to shoot on the Griffin. And let's hope we knock him down. I'm just going to leave the medium laser off. It doesn't have a good chance to hit anyway. Oh. There's the knockdown. Nice. So that should be two hits on the pilot now. All right, let's follow it up with Jasper. You have orders? I do, Jasper. Yes, Commander. I want you to shoot for this guy's head. Let's get rid of this guy. Fire everything, yes, please. Do we get it? Nope. Okay, payroll, let's boot up. Here. Oh, I thought you were shut down. It sounded like you were shut down. Oh, I guess it's just super, uh, super, super heat. Okay, we're going to walk back, we're going to fire on this guy, and we're only going to use the SRM-4. Actually, we're not going to use anything because we're way overheated. Just going to end our turn here. Still critical heated. My heat sinks can't take much more of this. Yeah, I know. Okay, I think we're going to use right Voodoo. Hold me firm. I'm going to sprint up here a bit, a bit, I think. Get a little higher. Maybe not that high. I'm going to turn on the Griffin. And we're going to use our LM LRMs again and try for a headshot. And just fire. Try to max salvage on this guy, but it's not really working out. Alright, let's move animal. Um, let's see, we're going to go here. Moving out. And once again, just going to fire with the LRMs. Yeah, it's fire with the medium as well, why not? Just need one shot to the head, man. That's all we need. What's the plan? Alright, Jasper, let's back it up over here a little bit. Be there in a jet. Don't want to get you in a range of that trap right now. So let's fire on this guy once again. I'm going to go for the head. Actually, how much is left in the torso here? 65. Let's try for a torso hit. Actually, does his engine in there? Haywire EMP and engine. We want the haywire though. No, let's go for the torso and try and remove him from the field. Come on, come on, come on. Let's hit him hard. Ugh. That's a critical hit. Here he comes. I don't think he's got much left in the torso though. Nine points. 
So that's a good SRM hit from Jasper, and he's down, unless he's fortified. Yeah, you're keeping applying that heat, buddy. I'm I don't like you very much. Okay, payroll. Aye, aye. Let's... we can only move, eh? Alright, let's move back here. Just gonna end our turn here, we're just gonna brace. He's using our old strategy against us, that guy. Here comes a melee attack. You... I don't even want to say it. I'm losing weapon systems. This yeah. Is my internal structure. Damn it. He's going down. He's going down. Huh. Commander, I'm hit. Well, that's because you guys didn't kill him when you when you had the chance. He was on the ground. We could have killed him. You never did. Ah, uh, God. Let's get to a point where we can see this guy here. I understand. Just fire straight out on him. We should take that torso, and that'll be it for him. Let's pull the small off. Fire everything else. That should be it. There it is. Goodbye, buddy. Mech destroyed. Just taking a little bit of a dirt nap. Okay, Voodoo, let's get down here, start targeting this guy now. Fire everything. Don't really care about this trebuchet. I think we've got lots of trev pieces still in storage, but we don't want really another trebuchet, so... Alright, stand up. And you're not going to move, you're just going to fortify right here. Aye, aye. I'm generating a lot of heat, Commander. Yeah. I gotta see what we lost off this guy. It's kind of annoying that that happened, but uh, we can't get away with lots of missions without getting damaged, so. Alright, let's move over here. Two lasers. Let's fire them both. Actually, what's the chance to hit here? 39. Let's do a, an offensive push here. I'm gonna go against the torso. See if we can get it. Attacking from position. There we go. A hit. And now he's pushed back in turns, so we're going to move forward on him. Going to fire everything into his side. That should get into the CT, I think, straight in there. Yeah. Knockdown, pilot injury. Jasper's coming around here in a second. Alright, buddy, just walk it over. As you wish. Save a little bit of heat. Firing on this guy, going to go for a CT. Uh, let's leave off an SRM-6 and fire everything else. That should do it. Yep, there we go. Alright, overall, pretty good mission. Mission successful. Alright, so for the last mission of this particular Pirate Lance, we did pretty good. Lillian League, we get a little bit more reputation with them. We lost more than before than what we, we gained now, but, um, you know, hopefully we can pull off another mission for them and get us back into the good books again. But, um, yeah, 77,000 we made. That's not going to be enough to repair our mech, but um, the trebuchet took fusion core, engine light hit. Um, lost our Gauss triple plus. So it's time to refit him with something else. We do have the big AC-20, so I'm thinking maybe that's going to go in there. Um... But we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Maybe we pull off the LRM-15 and we make a long-range trebuchet boat and a close-range tre trebuchet boat. But we'll see what happens. But anyway, so that was that. We don't really lose anything else. Yeah, so overall, I mean, I'm overall, I'm pretty happy with that mission. Now, as far as salvage goes, let's just quickly go through this. Uh, Flamer Triple Plus. I mean, we could pick up this. Let's just throw it in there. I'm thinking we're gonna, if we're gonna be outfitting a new lance, we may want to have that for the fire starter. We were losing a few a while back, so we didn't have very many of them. But AMS laser, minus 50% missile damage taken, which really isn't reducing it a whole lot. Um, DNI cockpit's not bad. TC cockpit. See, these are good for the new lance, right? If we're gonna do that, ECM Guardian XL Gyro is nice. We've got lots of endo steel, so we don't need any of that if there's some here. No talons, patchwork materials. 
So some pretty good stuff overall in their fusion core. We could go for the cash. 1.65. Mm, ECM Guardian. I think we're going to go for the cockpit, and I think we will leave this Flamer Triple Plus. There's nothing that we absolutely need here. Right? There's nothing that we absolutely definitely have to have. So I'm going to keep the Flamer just for the next Pirate Lance. So let's confirm this. All right, so we got one Grand Dragon piece. Oh, look what we got here. We got two pieces of this Griffin. Now we've got this guy. So that's, we got three pieces of it. Excellent. So now we've got another 55 tonner. So probably what we'll end up doing is putting this into the main lance. We'll either bring down the trebuchet or the hunchback from the main lance. I'm wondering if it should be the hunchback because um, Bane Skater's been having a really hard time hitting with that uh, Gauss rifle. So I'm thinking adding this Griffin, we can maybe do a quite uh, quite a different loadout since we got a lot of points on this guy, right? A lot of hard points. Um, we can come up with a, like maybe a different loadout. So, you know, my <laughs> I just actually had a flash in my head. What if we try a double ultra AC-20 build? But uh, I don't know if that'll work. But maybe we'll play around with that a bit. Um, see what else we got here. A uh, AC-5 double plus. Nah, not really going to use it, I don't think. Haywire EMP, which is nice to have. Um, the Gyrox L jump jet. So we're going to have to start accumulating some jump jets. Uh, especially these bonus ones. We've been selling all our jump jets for cash because we've needed to sell some stuff. So, But uh, we're going to have to start accumulating, accumulating these for our new pirate lands. So let's just continue here. And there it is. Quirk Lamb, jump distance. Nice. So let's continue this. Um, yeah, 122,000. So we did lose money on that. We lost 60,000 on this. Could have been a whole lot worse, but I think overall we did pretty well. Um, so like I said, next episode, probably what we'll do is we'll do an another outfitting mech episode where we... I'll probably go through and make sure everyone's back in action here. Uh, we've got enough cash to be able to do that. Um, so everyone will be back in action. We'll do a refit the Lance again and add a third Lance to our company here, which means there's going to be more missions coming up. We'll have light, a lot of light missions, and then we're going to have heavy and medium missions. So um, if we go to the barracks real quick here. So we are going to fix this Griffin up. That Warhammer is hilarious, by the way. Uh, so the trebuchet needs to be redone here. We got uh, replaced some lasers. Um, we got the new Griffin in here. Let's see what we got out of this. I don't think we got a lot out of the, a lot of pieces out of this guy. So yeah, we didn't get much. DNI cockpit, patchwork materials, plasma lance. So a couple of things we got. Haywire EMP, not too bad. Um, gonna repair it. Oh, we got another jump jet, which is good. TSM, death from above damage. Another TSM over here. We can probably put those in the light lance. Oh, another Flamer Triple Plus. Good. So we can you our um, our um, fire starter is going to have a lot of these now, which is good because that's what he started off with. So yeah, I think probably that's where we're going to end it for today. So let's just confirm this repair. Ten days, and the next episode will definitely be a refitting the lance episode. We're going to right. go to three lances. Okay, we're going to need to find some pilots. Um, Probably we won't have pilots right away. We may have to jump to a few systems before we get the pilots that we're going to need. Um, but once we have a whole uh, new itinerary of pilots, we're going to have our, get our pirate lance up and running again. And then the main Rotex series, what I might do is switch to two missions a day where our main lance takes on one and our secondary lance takes on another. Um, so, yeah, uh, I'll end it here. And if you like it, please drop a like. And if you haven't watched the episodes before, Rogue Tech or Pirate Lance episodes, um, please subscribe and um, try and get all the updates. Uh, I do try to release um, videos every single day, uh, of often more than one. So yeah, um, feel free to subscribe to get all the good stuff from that, and I'll see you next time.